with Rob Weller. And now, here's Rob. Joining us right now is the director of drones. Please welcome to Hollywood Headliners, Rick Rosenthal. Hello, Rick. Hey there, how are you? Well, we're good. We're good. Uh... Boy, this is a this is a heavy movie. Uh, this is a this is more like a moral play, isn't it? It's a it's really an ethical thing. Uh, where did this? Uh, where'd you get the idea for the movie, and how did it come about? Well, it it is a play. It's based on a play. Mm-hmm. Uh, the writer is a is a novelist, playwright, screenwriter named Matt Matt Witten, and he and I have worked together about fifteen years ago on a project. I thought a terrific uh, play that he had written that we tried to get made into a movie and. It just never, it just never took off. And uh, a couple of years ago, I was working in my office one Sunday, and I got an email from Matt, and he said, "Hey, Rick, I haven't talked to you in a long time, but I just finished a play, and I kind of was wondering if you would take a look at it to see if you think it can be made into uh, independent film." So he sent the play over about. 4.30 and about 5.15, I called him back, uh, emailed him back, and I said, you know, not only do I think this would be a really terrific independent film, but I'd like to actually direct it. Wow. The film, very briefly, is about two Air Force personnel in a trailer in Nevada flying a drone over Afghanistan, and they're on the, the trail of a, of a man who may or may not be a terrorist, and uh Military intelligence says he is, and they're operating under orders to take him out as soon as they can ID him. They almost misidentify one person, but eventually he shows up at his parents' house because it's his birthday, and by the time he shows up, there, there are an awful lot of people there. There's a lot of potential collateral damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, the, and the real, the, one of the real dilemmas is, one, well, you know, what's the acceptable collateral damage? And, and, and two, is it the right guy or not? Yeah, mm-hmm. right, right. Um, and, we, you know, we, we premiered in in uh, in London at the London Film Festival, and after the initial screening, about 200, 250 people, and, you know, in the Q&A afterwards, I said, I asked the audience, I said, well, how many of you think he was a terrorist? And um, about 10 people raised their hands. Yeah. Wow. And I said, well, how many people don't think he's a terrorist? And about 10 people raised their hands. And I was like, well, that's only, uh, that's yeah. only 20 of you. And, and there's 250 people in the room. What, what, is, what are the 230 people who haven't raised their hands? What do you guys think? And, you know, there, it, it provoked a lot of conversation. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Here's a scene from Drones. Set coordinates one one five two two six one zero. Coordinates check. Run a straight up orbital pattern. Roger that. How'd you end up here? Did you wash out of flight school? I didn't wash out. There must be a lot of pressure to a four star general's daughter. We should really get back to work. If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Some movement here. Now, this could be the break I've been waiting for an entire month. The colonel tells you who to take out, and then you do it. Just don't think too much. Don't worry about me. Vehicle coming. I need a positive visual ID of the target. Yeah, it's him. Please inform command immediately. Twelve is currently at the location. Um, there's several unidentified terrorist suspects. Jesus, Jack, they're, they're civilians and kids. Just the way it's going around here, man. Reaper 13, what have you got? I will not kill 12 civilians. Hold for General Lawson. Hello, Susan. Dad. You're about to ruin your whole life. You swore an oath to defend the United States from her enemies. Now honor that oath. You have a top-level Al-Qaeda operative in your sights, and I expect him to be in the devil's hands within three minutes. This whole drone thing, it's insane. If we'd had drones back then, I wouldn't have had to drop bombs on thousands of non-combatants. This technology is going to win us the war. Um, hey, Rick, this is great. I, I want to just mention again, if you're in the Los Angeles area, uh, Saturday, uh, the, wait a minute, Saturday, oh, the 20th. Rena, Rena, Rena Cinema. Yeah. Los Palmas. In, Los, in Hollywood. Right. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 
And we're going to do a Q&A afterwards. The head of Code Pink is going to be there. It's going to be pretty interesting. I mean, she's going to have some interesting things to say about their feelings about drones. All right. Well, Rick, thank you very much for being with us on Hollywood Headliners. We wish you the best of luck with drones. And, Thanks uh, so much. It was a pleasure to talk with you. And um, and uh, hopefully we'll see some people out Saturday night. You got it. Uh, iTunes and VOD. And- the whole kit and caboodle. Yep. All right, Rick. Thank you very much. Rick Rosenthal, director of the new film Drone, starring Eloise Mumford and Matt O'Leary. And I think he may, that, this Matt O'Leary may have quite a future. He's, he's, he's pretty good.